So today I'll be trying out another one of these charcoal sheet masks and I found this one at Walmart. This is the Su... Su Ai? I never know how to pronounce this. This is the Su Ai Purifying Black Charcoal Mask for Hydration and Moisture. So if you're new to my channel, I have a bit of a face mask addiction. I have a growing playlist of other face masks I've tried out for this channel, which I will link in the description box below, or you can click right up there. If you enjoyed these type of mask wear tests and you'd like to see more of them, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you wanna know more about this face mask, don't go anywhere, just keep watching. So like I said earlier, I picked this up at Walmart for about $4. So I don't usually go for sheet masks, although I do admit they're starting to grow on me. Um, and it's mainly because I have issues sitting still. I prefer to walk around and do things when I have a mask on my face. So let's jump onto their website and see what they have to say about this mask. So on their website, it says, the Su Eye Purifying Black Charcoal Mask is formulated using Korean bin cho, bin I'll put that word right here because I have no idea how to pronounce it. An anti-inflammatory that purifies skin while brightening the complexion. With the addition of cultured green tea extract and green caviar extract, this mask recharges, hydrates, and boosts skin elasticity, resulting in beautiful, clarified, smooth, supple skin in just 15 minutes. Convenient and travel friendly, the mask makes caring for your skin simple and easy whether at home or on the go. Su Eye's special blend of plant-based ingredients is scientifically formulated with multiple herbs based on the wisdom of traditional Korean herbology, which ensures synergistic efficiency and safely helps to improve skin conditions. Su Eye's formulations stand apart from other plant-based skincare formulations, not because of each individual plant and herb ingredient selected, but because of how these ingredients work together in order to provide visible results. Alrighty, let's, ooh, there's a warning label on it. Lovely. We should read it. For external use only, that goes without saying. Do not use undamaged or broken skin, good to know. Discontinue if signs of irritation or rash occurs. Okay. Discontinue use if above symptoms occur upon exposure to sunlight. That's kind of scary. When using this product, keep out of eyes, rinse with water to remove. Do not store in areas with extreme heat or cold under direct sunlight. Keep out of reach of children. Use immediately after opening. God, you have me a little nervous here. Okay, and on the packaging, it says, the powerful purifying and rejuvenating power of charcoal is concentrated in a refreshing sheet mask formulated with unique plant extracts and hyaluronic acid to replenish and moisture and soothe skin. I think we got everything covered. And for ingredients, we have glycerin, which is a skin replenishing and skin restoring ingredient. Basically, it doesn't help moisturize your skin, but what it does is it holds water up against it and this prevents it from becoming dehydrated. We have a word that I can't pronounce, which I will put here because it's just so ridiculous. I wouldn't even know how where to begin to pronounce this. I think the C is silent. Nidium official root extract. Basically it's marsh parsley and this is apparently an antioxidant often used in skincare. There's also cauliflower root extract, which is an anti-inflammatory. There's also green tea extract in this, which is an antioxidant. Next is mushroom extract, which is another anti-inflammatory. Next we have pomegranate extract, which is also an antioxidant. So there is also castor oil in this, which is not my most favorite ingredient in the world because I find whenever it's used in a sheet mask, it leaves almost like a sticky wax type layer on my skin. But I'm, I'm trying to remain open-minded because um, when looking at the ingredients list, it's like the fourth or fifth last ingredient, which means there's not that much of it in here. Alrighty, so let's get into this. There's a mild fragrance, which uh, I don't really care for fragrances in uh, masks because uh, sometimes they can be a little bit overpowering. This isn't too bad though. It's not one of those really overpowering, knock you over type of fragrances. Ooh, this is a tad bit goopy. More than a tad bit goopy, it's really goopy. Where on earth is the front? I really should have had like a plastic sheet or something on here. I'm trying to find eye holes. Oh, I think I found eye holes. Oh, this is slimy. Okay, let's try and get this conformed to my face properly. You know, I kind of like that the nose area is cut out. Most sheet masks don't have that. They have like an area that covers 
Um, at the same time though, it just feels weird not having any serum on my nose. So this mask was really easy to apply to my face. Once I figured out where the eye holes actually were on this thing, it was a little tricky at first, but once I actually got it unfolded, it was really easy to get this thing on. It adheres really well and I don't feel like it's about to fall off at any moment. It's a little goopier than I was expecting, but I mean, the reality is all sheet masks are pretty goopy. So this says clean skin, thoroughly apply toner and their serum, smooth out air pockets, I did that. Okay, leave on for 15 to 20 minutes, then remove mask. So the time is 11.13. I'm gonna go and try and chill out and relax for a little bit and I will see you guys in 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, I have to be honest, um, I lost track of when I first applied this. I got distracted doing YouTube things and I think I had it on for 15 to 20 minutes, but I'm not entirely sure. I guess I'll find out when I start editing this video. So what the heck time is it? The time is, uh, so the time is 11.37. So at this point, there's nothing left to do but to take this thing off. It's still really, there's still a lot of product on this mask. I'm surprised. Okay. And then you're supposed to, whoa, there's a lot of product there. Um, massage the remaining serum into your face. Probably shouldn't talk while I do this, but oh well. So I'm just gonna let this dry for a second and while it's drying, I will talk. So I actually really enjoyed this one when it was on. I was kind of taken aback at first by the amount of slime on this. At first I was like, hmm, I'm not sure I'm gonna enjoy this one. But after a few minutes on my face, it was really, really refreshing. It almost felt like jelly. It was very cooling, it was very soothing. Normally sheet masks come with a plastic coating that makes it easier to unfold and apply to your face. This one didn't have that. So it was a little tricky unfolding it at first. So the charcoal in this, um, okay. I'm just, I'm looking at the ingredients list here. I think the charcoal aspect of this mask is really gimmicky. I mean, hold on. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is a little messy, but there's the ingredients and where my finger is, whoop, about where my finger is, is where the charcoal is listed. So um, I don't know. I think the whole charcoal thing is really gimmicky like my face mm. a charcoal mask should not be making my face this sticky that sucks i actually really like this one up until the point where i massage the serum into my face i don't know what's going on with sue eyes masks because i tried out a hydrogel mask from their collection a few weeks back you can watch that video up there if you'd like. And I had like the same problem with like the stick factor afterwards. I don't like that. And I know I keep like playing with my face here, but I don't know what's doing that. If it's the castor oil, although there's not much in this one this time around. So I can't figure out what's making my face so darn sticky. So that's a bit of a disappointment. I really liked this one up until the time I took it off. I like, it was very cooling, it was very relaxing, it was very soothing. And now that I've massaged the serum into my face, all I wanna do is scrub it and get it off. There's really nothing detoxifying or purifying about this mask. It just, it just leaves a big sticky layer of goop on my face. And now I just, I can't wait to wash it off. So even though that was a bit of a disappointment, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.